What's up everyone? I'm back at V Hollow. For those who have seen my videos before, you may have seen a video probably two or three years ago now. I came here as a pretty new mountain biker. I did like the easiest downhill trail and determined that was like the max I could do that day. So a little while later, I'm back again. I'm gonna try hopefully some new trails. I'm gonna start out with that same green. I don't know if I'll be able to compare it because it's been a little while. So like on the trails that I ride a lot, I've definitely noticed an improvement over the past two years or so. But yeah, I haven't been here since then, so it'll be interesting to see. So I feel like two or three years is enough time to make like significant amounts of progress in whatever you choose to work at. However, if you've seen more than one of my videos, you know, I don't just like mountain biking. I have a ton of different outdoor hobbies, which makes it pretty difficult to improve in any one. Cause like, I don't want to spend like an entire month or so dedicated to mountain biking every day. Cause then I can't do the other things I enjoy. So progress is slow, but I get to do a ton of different things, which I love. So today actually started out a bit hectic for me. I had this like gut feeling when I got this morning that I should check and see if the bike park was open. Sure enough, it said it closed midday yesterday due to rain. So then I had to come up with a backup plan and I switched out all my mountain biking stuff for paddling stuff. So I'm gonna go paddleboarding. And then like, as I was getting ready to leave, it's like, ah, the bike park's open now. It was past 8 a.m. It's like, ah, I'll check it one more time and see. Sure enough, it opened again. So then I had to go through, switch all my stuff back. And I wanted to get somewhat of an early start today. Today's first day of another camping trip. So there's some stuff I wanna do after this. Didn't wanna run out of time. I was thinking it's like, super humid out today and it is still sunny but I can hear rain falling through the leaves but yeah super humid not even halfway through the climb and I'm already like dripping sweat so the original intent for today was to hit the green downhill trail here and see how that felt compared to two years ago which will be hard because I don't entirely remember it I remember there's a corner with a huge rock on the inside, but that's it. But I wanted to try most of the blue trails that I didn't try last time. But after that climb, I don't know, that climb was a lot longer than I remember it. I'll hit at least one blue trail, I'd say. Definitely don't think I'll hit them all though. So this is white lightning. I think that's what I didn't like about this place. It's very loose. Ugh. Lots of rocks.
There's the rock I remember. I don't feel like doing that climb immediately again. So I think I'm gonna take T and trot around and go look at the jump lines. I remember I was too intimidated to try them a few years ago, but I've been working on my jumping skills. So I'll take a look and see if there's something I wanna hit this time. I cannot remember if they're all gap jumps or like if the green line has some tabletops. So we'll see. So I could, I didn't hit side saddle last time. Could take band saw off and hit side saddle. Let's we'll see. I'm curious about the jumps now. We'll go check those out first. This is definitely a lizard that just crawled under the bridge. I mentioned earlier how I almost had to change plans because this was closed this morning due to rain but technically V Hollow wasn't even my original plan for today. I was gonna go check out Ober Gatlinburg which is a downhill bike park that just opened up last year I believe. I think they're the only lift access bike park in the area but I was reading about it a couple days ago and they're doing i think they're putting on a new lift maybe and like half the trails or something like that are down it's not a cheap place to go it's 50 dollars for a day pass day pass plus i think like 10 dollars for parking which is more than i've ever paid to go biking um canuga for reference is like 50 dollars for a month and to be honest i looked at it, uh the trails at ober gatlinburg on YouTube a little bit. I think Canugo is probably better in my opinion. But I still wanted to go check it out because I've never seen it and never been to a lift access bike park. So I'd really like to try that. But I couldn't justify uh, $50 plus parking if not even all the trails are open. And if it was like one trail, I would get it. But I think it's like half the trails. But if you've been there, let me know what you thought and let me know if it's worth $60 for a day. I guess this is probably the green one. That looks a little steep considering how wet it is out today. Let's look at the other ones. So that doesn't look too bad. Neither does that one. So maybe we'll just hit the first two and not hit the wood one. I'm not entirely sure where this starts. Ooh, I don't know about these. They feel very weird. They don't feel like the jumps at like Canuga or Riveter or most any other jumps I've hit. I think I'm gonna hit them one more time now that I know to like expect them to feel weird. Let's see what I think of them this time. Right, 
they still don't feel like great jumps. They don't have much of a lip really, so they're more like rollers. But now that I know what to expect, they're kind of fun, so. So the first one's really like a roller. The second one I can get a little bit of air on, but the landing comes up so quick. All right, I'm gonna head back and check out Side Saddle now. V Hollow listed it as a green, but Trail Forks list it as a blue. I'm not entirely sure which is more accurate. All right, so this is Side Saddle, which has the same description, like trail description, as the blue trail next to it. Also, it looks like there might be some small branches down. big tree. So I think this is back to Tian Trot. Probably have to pull out a map. But I would be inclined to agree with trail forks. Some of those corners were very steep. And they're very tight too for beginner corners. So I'm like 95% sure we're back on Tian Trot now. Though I don't remember this. Alright, I don't. I think this is the right trail. I think my GPS app liked me. Okay, now we're back to Tian Trot. Not really feeling another climb up to the top right now, especially with it being so humid. 
So let's go check out the skills area. I was just throwing mud everywhere. Which way the flow is for this? Look, like it's gonna be really hard to get speed up. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or not. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be always adventuring.